This is the Violin 3 tutorial for the Ukrainian folk tune Verbovaya Doshetka, arranged by Ilya Bondarenko. Um, so we start in Violin 3, we have some action. We've got quarter notes and eighth notes right off the bat. Let me show you the first seven bars. Ready? And... In case you missed it, we're in the key of D minor, so no sharps, and we have B flat, low twos, low ones. Um, and bar six and seven, the fermata bar, you're going to treat the bar six as if it had three beats, and bar seven as if it was a half note in that bar, plus a quarter note rest after it. So bar six and seven goes like this, one, two, off and then you get retake your bow for bar eight during the rest okay and I've showed you in the other videos but it really helps if you mark some vertical hash marks one two three one two rest it helps to mark those lines the same thing happens in bar 11 12 13 no in bar 14 and again in bar 20 and 21. So beware of that. So if I could just play bars one through seven one more time, it'll practically teach you the next eight bars. Ready, set, go. A, D, A, A, C. C, G, F. So there's some slurs in there, and I want to show you where those slurs are. In bar one, slur open D to fourth finger. Slur. There's bar three. E, first finger E. And then here's a slur. But it's a good thing to know how to do it. So I'm talking about bar five. We have a first finger E, that's easy. But then we have third finger C slurred across the string to third finger G. So you can just roll your third finger, or you if you have great discipline, you can put your third finger down, covering both strings. It takes a lot of forethought. Cover both and it takes a perfect aim to hit both strings, you can just roll your third finger like this. See me using that bad technique? I do that all the time in an emergency situation. So those are slurs. It's nice to do the slurs because then your bow is going the same direction as everybody else's. But if you don't wanna do the slurs, please be free to not do the slurs. Okay, the next uh, bar starts in bar eight. It's the same until we get to the end of the phrase in bar 12. So let me show you. Here's eight, nine, 10, 11, open G in 12, and then slur. That slur in bar 10, 11, 12 is not written but I highly recommend it for aesthetic reasons. You'll be doing a down bow when all the other violins are doing down bow and you won't be up bow on a double stop with a risk of crunching your bow. So bar 10, 11, 12 will be down, slur up, and then it's open D, open A, okay? Um, then we're going to go through this in a playthrough, so you'll have another chance to grab all these notes. In bar 16, we have some suggested double stops. It's good technique for you to learn how to put the bow accurately on both strings without pressing or crushing. 
Instead, use your precision and just equally touch both strings. If you don't want to do the double stops, just do the top notes, okay? So for four bars, the bottom note is open D. So you're gonna go third finger on the A string with open D. The next measure is C natural on the A string with open D. The next bar is B natural on the A string, B flat on the A string, and open D and open A. It's really dramatic, like. that's too hard for you, just place D, C, B flat, A without the open D. Okay, the next two bars are challenging, bar 20 and 19. Let's talk about bar 19. You could just play the top note, which is third finger G, and then fourth finger E. So three on D, four on A, and the next bar is one. F natural. And you hold that for five beats. If you want to do the double stops, then bar 19 would be a fat third finger covering C natural and G. So a fat third finger on the G and the D string. And then you keep your third finger in place for the next double stop and play three on D and four on A. So G and E. So those two double stops are this. Those are really hard double stops to do. If you're not comfortable doing them, there's no, there's no shame in just choosing the top notes. Okay, so that's the double stops in bar 19. That third finger and then three and four. And then bar 20 is no easier. You have low two C natural and low one <clears throat> F natural. And that's a perfect fourth. It's another double stop that's incredibly difficult to get in tune because it's either perfect or it's wrong. So feel free to challenge yourself and play those double stops. or just play the top voice. G, E, F natural. <clears throat> okay, and you hold that F natural for five beats. One, two, three, one, two, rest. And this is bar 22. One, two, one, two, B flat. and you will end with an up bow on the pianissimo um, double stop. The only way around that would be in the second to last bar to, instead of a half note, to play C, C. And I'm sure violinists all over the world are doing it different ways. So choose which way you prefer and feel fine about it. Let's play the whole thing. I'm gonna attempt the double stops, um, but they're hard double stops. So feel free to choose what you would like to do. Here we go from the beginning. Ready, set, go.
Okay. That's it for the violin three part. Now, if you're only playing violin three, meet me in the collective video where we'll put it together with Ilya's video. If you're going on to learn the other violin parts, I'll see you in the next tutorial.